Final orders. During my 26 years of military service, I often awaited my next orders. As a military professional, I was aware that orders from a higher headquarters could come at any time. The Bible teaches that life is no different. As a matter of fact, it states that your final orders are coming from heaven eventually. God will stop your breathing and you will die. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Hebrews 9.27 If you have not accepted the Lord Jesus as your Savior, your final orders will send you to hell for all eternity. The Lord states in Revelation 20.15 And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. The good news is God had not appointed us to a wrath, punishment in hell, but to obtain salvation and eternity in heaven by our Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Thessalonians 5.9 Knowing exactly where your next assignment will take you is a dream come true. Your final assignment in life will be determined by the decision you make after reading this track. If you choose hell as your final assignment, do nothing. You have already done enough. The wicked shall be turned into hell, Psalm 9, 17. If you desire heaven to be your final assi assignment, there are several steps you must follow. First, you must understand that you are a sinner. The Bible states, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 All people are sinners and do not deserve to go to heaven. Secondly, you must realize that your sin has deadly consequences. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death. Here, death refers to an eternal separation from God in hell. Thirdly, you need to recognize that your sin debt has been paid. The Bible states, But God commended his love toward us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 8. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, took your punishment and died for you. Fourthly, you must repent of your sins. God now commanded to all men everywhere to repent. Acts 17 30. Repentance is a change of heart which causes you to turn toward God and away from your present way of life. Finally, you must take action to ensure higher quarters. Headquarters knows your intentions, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Romans 10, 9, 10. This passage lists two parts of salvation. You are required to both ask Jesus to save you, and also to believe God's word. If you ask for salvation, yet you do not believe with all your heart, you are still on your way to hell. When you agree to serve your country, you believe the promises made to you by the recruiter and you acted upon these promises. To become a Christian, you must believe God's promises and act upon them by asking him to save you. God cannot lie. Here is his promise to you. That he that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son, shall not see life, but the wrath that God abideth on him. John 3.36 If you will accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, please pray this prayer, or one similar to it. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner going to hell. I know that I cannot save myself. I repent of my sins, put my faith in the blood that you shed for me on the cross to pay for all my sins. I now accept you as my Savior and trust you to take me to heaven. Thank you for saving me. Amen. Sergeant Major Doug Carragher, USA, retired.